Are we ready? Muko mbali leo. Chamutai. So far. We are drifting we are drifting apart. There's no tear guys around so don't be so far. No no. If they come nearer they can they carry fuel. Yeah. Oh. Let them carry the fuel. Uh, yeah. okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the press, uh, this is the leadership of Zemir La Omoja One Kenya Coalition Party, together with the delegates to the proposed bipartisan discussions that are uh, scheduled to be beginning shortly. So uh, we have a statement is going to be read by Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka on our behalf. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this morning, or is it up to late this afternoon, early, uh, this afternoon, the leadership of the Azumeo La Moja One Kenya Coalition Party including those from the Houses of Parliament, met with our delegates to the envisaged National Dialogue to review developments on the envisaged talks. Any reasonable observer of the happenings in the last few weeks will agree with us that Kenya Kwanzaa has no intention whatsoever of holding any dialogue at all, let alone one that is honest, transparent and bipartisan. They have exhibited absolute bad faith from the beginning, and we will highlight the same as follows. Number one, when Honorable Ruto invited, invited us for talks, he did not in his speech capture the entire framework for talks as had been agreed upon with the emissaries he sent to us. This includes leaving out key issues on the cost of living and electoral justice which are of utmost importance to us and the people of Kenya. Number two, the delay in naming his team is another sign of a lack of seriousness that has been made worse by the inclusion of members of the Azimio coalition in his team when the whole country knows that respect for multi-party dem democracy is one of the key issues we have put on the table. Number three, to date, Kenya Kwanzaa has failed to name the leadership of his team as a way of stonewalling. Number four, last evening, we learned of a motion drafted by Kenya Kwanzaa leadership, allegedly aiming, aimed at setting up a joint select committee in parliament. The motion is in absolute bad faith for the following reasons. A, we have insisted on an extra-parliamentary process in view of the st uh, strictures of debate in Parliament. We will therefore not participate in any such parliamentary process. B. The motion is disguised as a product of bipartisanship, when in fact the leadership of Azimio in Parliament were neither aware nor consulted in its drafting. C. The motion proposed to name members of the minority party to the so-called select committee without any reference to the minority leadership in violation of the standing orders of both houses. 
and D. The motion purports to set the terms of reference and scope of the discussions without any reference to us. We continue to insist that the dialogue must be about all the four issues, namely the cost of UNGA, fuel and electricity, forensic audit of the servers, bipartisan reconstitution of the IEBC, and respect for multi-party democracy. Kenya Kwanza cannot dictate to us what we cannot bring to the table. Um, so given the foregoing, we as the leadership of a coalition have resolved as follows. Number one, we remain committed to an extra-parliamentary dialogue that is honest, transparent, meaningful, and bipartisan in conception and execution. Our members of parliament in both houses shall not be party to any other process, and particularly not the one proposed in the motion by Kenya Kwanza. Number two, we have instructed the chairperson of our team, uh, Senior Counsel Otendo Molo, to formally invite the Kenya Kwanza team for a meeting to set the ground rules for the talks. Number three, our issues remain what we said before, and they are reduction in cost of UNGA, fuel, electricity, and school fees, opening and audit of IEBC servers, bipartisan reform and reconstitution of IEBC, reinstatement of the four IEBC commissioners, and end to the buying of MPs, which threatens multi-party democracy. And before we reiterate the call that the regime must immediately take up the hospital bills of all Kenyans who sustained injury, injuries as a result of police brutality during the recent protests and demonstrations and pay reparations for those who lost their property and their lives. Number five, that the coalition shall resume its weekly protests at the end of Ramadan and further communication in this regard will follow. I thank you. Good. So, maswali. Maswali, tafadhali kama kuna swali. Pengine wa baada ya iftar. Asante. I think maelewa hiki tuni continuous, very very clear. So, karibuni sana.